Welcome to Small Craft Cruising. I'm Kurt Rostlaff and I'm visiting Lake Kauia for the very first time ever. This lake is located in Tulare County on the southeastern side of the Central Valley in California. To get to this lake, you're going to find yourself driving east on Sierra Drive on a fairly well-maintained two-lane road. There is a long open turn lane to access the first launch ramp and marina. However, as you crest the top towards the end, you're going to kind of find it's a bit of a blind left corner there. The main parking lot is fairly fairly large, it's well paved, there's toilets there, there's trash bins, and the ramp itself is pretty easy to find on the left. Going down the ramp, it is wide, well paved, and there's a small launch dock at the end. Private vehicles, $10. All right, pretty easy. Push the buttons, put the credit card in. It looks like they were cleaning up some repairs on the docks, so while it was a little tight for me to launch today, it's probably not what you'd expect to find on a typical day here. <laughs> Normally I'd go to the marina first, but with all this noise going on, the marina's that close, we're gonna go, we're gonna go film the uh, lake first and then come back and hopefully they'll be done or at least less noisy. One thing I noticed almost immediately was how many small logs and pieces of wood were floating on the lake. I don't know if that's like totally typical of the area or just a result of this harsh winter, but I definitely had to keep an eye out as I was driving along. Another thing that was confusing here is where you can and cannot make a wake. The buoys in the water did not match the map in the parking lot and it was really confusing for me. So we've just come around this corner. There's a no wake buoy here. And I was trying to figure out what this was, this flat bit, and this is literally a parking lot that is just barely uh, sticking above the water. Also over here, we have a, a second launch ramp. The problem I'm having is there's also a five mile an hour buoy. You can see it kind of in the middle of the lake. So if I understand this correctly, everything beyond here is a no wake zone. That boat over there, is not going fast and there's also buoys there which i'm gonna assume let's go find out but i'm assuming that this is all uh, a no wig zone we went up to the um that side of the lake i don't even think it's a quarter mile from the marina to the no wake zone and then on this side it's pretty much all a no wake zone if you look in the marina pretty much everything that's uh, uh, in the marina is all like barges and party barges and fishing boats so this is definitely a fishing lake this is a come chill swim relax lake i'm gonna go around a little bit more show like what is here and then i'm um, gonna head out and see what the marina has to offer then we'll head out because this is this lake looked a lot bigger on the map we'll put it that way there's a cow there's just a cow chilling by the lake. So once again, we've hit a no wake zone. There's a guy fishing. And the lake goes up for a little bit further. But there's not a whole lot to see here. The marina has a fuel dock and snack bar, but was closed during my visit due to the construction. A full list of the marina services is available on their website. It was time to return to the trailer and explore the lake by land. I do not know if the high amount of wood pieces floating in the water is typical, but it was definitely very noticeable. Hopefully someone in the comments section can better explain what's going on here. Please note that I do scrub the boat after every trip to the lake. It is not only an important step to help keep from cross contaminating the lake, so a good idea for keeping your boat and your vehicle properly maintained. Anyway, I could not help but notice the huge and long set of stairs leading from the marina to the ramp and then past the ramp and up the hill. As a proper American, I drove rather than walked up that hill to find the visitor center. It's got a large parking lot, well paved, and even extra boat trailer parking. It also has some extra life jackets if you need to borrow one. And surprisingly, it's got a really nice exhibit on the local like flora and fauna of the area, including some information on the history and the farming of the Tulare County area as well. Even if you're not coming to this lake with a boat, this huge patio and deck gives some of the best views of the lake and the area. Totally recommend it. Well, uh, one of the rules of uh, which lake I stop at is it has to have at least a mile of water in one direction. And this lake definitely was the absolute minimum of that requirement. There's bigger lakes, there's smaller lakes, and this is definitely on the smaller side. 
So let's go check out ramp number two, the, the second one from, uh, from the freeway. It is less than one half mile drive to the second launch ramp area, and Sierra Drive offers some decent views of the lake along the way. Coming up on that left turn, it is very well marked and easy to see oncoming traffic. The parking lot at top is large again with toilets and trash bins, and the left to the launch ramp is pretty easy to spot. There's a dock at the end of the ramp. However, at the time of my visit, the lake was just low enough to render this ramp unusable, but still high enough that the lower ramp below it is still underwater. So for now, it's just kind of a nice place to spend an afternoon. The closest service station here has gasoline and diesel, but they charged me a full $5.29 for premium. Compare that to the, my baseline fill up at Costco, which was nearly $3.95 in Carson City, Nevada. I hope this video gives you a better idea of what to expect if you're going to visit this lake. And definitely stick around because my next video is going to be visiting Pine Flat Lake near Fresno, California.